Welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick talk on Simgo's cable. This one is called LC7. This is their high performance cable. This is also the only cable that is available internationally. So they do have other cables. I've actually had this one for a bit of time, but it wasn't available. So recently Linsol has actually listed this one. So now we can talk about it and people can actually buy it. So this is LC7 and on the back you can kind of see they give you instructions on how to separate the modular connectors. And if we look down here, you can kind of see the basic specs of LC7. So the material is high purity OFC, oxygen free copper and silver plated OFC. It is a, a thick gauge wire, 18 gauge, and each strand is two strands of 732 wires. So the, the naming convention on whether you call them cores or strands or wires, we typically talk about wires in terms of cores. This is a two core wire. There's two wires, uh, two cores heading out of the connector. They, And I think even if we look here, I think even Linsol will call it 732 cores. Some cable sites actually call them cores. Each strand is a core, but um, yeah, just one of those things that you have to deal with. But uh, the gist of LC7, two cores, high strand count, high wire count. And as a guy who used to do videos that were titled Cables in 4K. One of those things that uh, sort of interested me and also also Rakuto, Goku, we used to have this database of the impedance of various cables. And one of the things that high strand count buys you is a very low impedance. And this one is going to hover around 0.1. Your typical stock cable that you might get with a set like EA500LM is going to be about 0.3. So these high strand, high strand count cables tend to be very low impedance, which is actually pretty cool. And that's why it's almost worth paying a price for a very high quality build cable like LC7. It's a bit unique in that respect and you're going to get a very low impedance. Does that correlate to better sound, you know, better anything? No, it just correlates to a lower impedance if you were to throw it on a multimeter like I just did. So kind of a little bit of trivia, but... Um, you know, I think it actually is. I think people who are into cable materials or cable build quality, um, you tend to look for these small little bits of things that that make certain cables more unique than other ones. And I think LC7 sort of hits you on on, on two points. One, it's a, a thick two core, right? So this is this is actually quite a thick two core but they also did it with a high strand count. So typically you're going to see two core cables in the sub $100 range with a lower strand count, but more rigid material because they had to add some durability to it because there probably weren't going to be enough strands to make it as durable as it should be. Simgo chose the high strand count, so a very dense, thick cable, and then a thinner, more flexible um, sheathing around it which uh, makes it a little bit softer and more easy to use and more comfortable to wear and I think it's actually a really nice combination and, and as I said it's kind of a, a bit of a unique combination as well and I, and also it is modular so everything should be going modular sooner or later but this is what the modular it's kind of a very similar looking modular it's not a screw on or a twist and lock it's kind of the line them up and push them in that you're probably used to if you purchase other modular cables. So I don't have a whole lot else to say on LC7. It's a very high quality build, very high quality strand count, um, very flexible, soft. I think they hit all the right uh, check boxes on this cable and, and the price actually isn't all that bad for what it is. High strand count, two core cables, $69. I think in the past I actually have one here. So nice HCK used to sell block and their c2 series used to be about the same price not nearly as as quality high strand count but uh, kind of this is what the older style two cores look like at this price point thinner material but they threw some they call it pp yarn or paracord around it to make them to make it a little more durable so that is what i got on lc7 so cool cable this right here is going to be the ea 500 lm and so I think a couple people have teased this one and I will tease it as well in the fact that they haven't finalized it yet. 
So some people have it, some people have listened to it, some people have provided feedback to Simgo, and the gist of that feedback was it was, I think, a bit too bright. And I think Simgo has this reputation for shipping sets that are slightly on the brighter side, and I 100% agree with that. So I think 500LM, sort of a cross between 500 and, and 1,000 in that it's a bit bright, like EA500, and I think that needed to be tweaked just a little bit. But also like EA1000, where a lot of it came down to the nozzles. And I think these are the nozzles I actually used on EA1000 as well, and that's why they don't match in color. And I think they're actually the EA500 um, DIY nozzles as well, which is why there's no grill on them and why I kind of peel off those uh, filters and change them to get it to uh, where I like it. But yeah, I think EA1000 had this amazing driver, but then the nozzles didn't quite bring out the best in that driver. And I think for 500LM, I think they took a step back and said, let's get the nozzles right on as opposed to shipping the, like they did the EA1000, there's actually a DOI kit for the 1000 as well, which I have yet to see for sale, but uh, supposedly Linsol actually shipped it with some sets. But, you know, let's not do that again where people need to tweak it after the sale, but get it right the first time in the shipping version. So I think that is where it is right now. I think they are shipping new nozzles to people. So I haven't received one, but that is the gist of where this one is. I would assume that the driver is done, but they are going to find a set of nozzles that bring out the best in the driver. And uh, that was certainly my feedback to them and to bring it down, you know, a bit for people who are uh, a little bit more treble sensitive, but still, you know, a high level of performance and don't mask anything that's going on in the driver, sort of in what happened with EA-1000. So that is a kind of quick teaser on where the sky is. Um, this one is available now. This one is coming soon hopefully sooner than later, depending on how the new nozzles turn out. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.